Okay, hello, welcome. So we have another lesson we're going to discuss today about the sequences or some of the topic and sequences which is arithmetic series or what we call the sum of an arithmetic sequence. Okay, so this, this topic is for grade 10 math. Okay, we have this formula. So in this lesson, we're going to find or how to find the sum of the n terms of an arithmetic sequence. Okay, now let's proceed. How to find the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic sequence? Okay, we're going to use this formula s of n equals n over 2 times 2 times a sub n plus n minus 1 times d. Okay, where um, s of n is what we call the sum of the n terms n is the number of terms and a sub 1 is the first term and d is what we call the common difference okay we have an example number one find the sum of the first 10 terms of the arithmetic sequence 5 9 13 17 okay again we're going to use this formula okay now the first step is to determine the following we're going to determine what is s of n our s of n is s of 10 because we're going to find the sum of the first 10 terms of the arithmetic sequence therefore n or the number of terms is 10 and our a sub 1 is 5 or the first term and next we have the common difference 4 okay now let's substitute we have s sub n or s sub 10 equals n which is 10 okay and a sub 1 is 5 n is 10 okay so we substitute 10 minus 1 then this is 4 then we have now s sub 10 equals uh, 10 over 2 times 2 times 5 plus 10 minus 1 times 4 then now we have s sub 10 equals 10 divided by 2 is 5. 2 times 5 is 10. And then 10 minus 1 is 9. Then 9 times 4. So s sub 10 equals 5 times 10. 9 times 4 is 36. So we have s sub 10 equals 5 times 10 plus 36. So 10 plus 36 is 46. So we have s sub 10 equals 5 times 46. And S sub 10 now is equal to 230. Therefore, the sum of the first 10 terms of the sequence is 230. Okay, now let's have an example number 2. Find the sum of the first 20 terms of the arithmetic sequence negative 2, negative 5, negative 8, negative 11. Again, we're going to uh, use this formula. Okay, the first step is to determine S sub n, which is S sub 20, because we were going to find the sum of first 20 terms. And the number of terms is 20. And then we have A sub 1 or the first term is negative 2. To find the common difference, we're going to subtract negative 5 minus negative 2. So we have negative times negative is positive 2. Therefore, we have negative 5 plus 2 equals negative 3. Then the common difference now is negative 3. Okay, or we're going to subtract negative 8 minus negative 5, negative 11 minus negative 8. Okay, and then we're going to substitute the values. We have S sub 20 equals N is 20. So, a 20 divided by 2 and A sub 1 is negative 2. Therefore, we have 2 times negative 2 plus N is 20 minus 1 and this negative 3. Okay, we simplify S sub 20 equals 20 divided by 2 is 10 times 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 plus 20 minus 1 is 19 minus 3. Okay, then... We have S sub 20 equals 10 times negative 4 plus 19 times negative 3 is negative 57. And then we have S sub 20 equals 10 times negative 61. Then 10 times negative 61 is negative 610. Therefore, the sum of the first 20 terms is negative 610. Okay, let's have another example which is number 3. Find the sum of the numbers between 1 and 41 which are divisible by 4. First step is to determine what are those numbers. Okay, these are the following uh, divisible by 4 between 1 and 41. We have 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, and 40. Okay, so 4 is the first term 8 is the second term 12 is the third term and so on and 40 is the tenth term okay the next step is to determine 
the following. Okay, we have S sub n. Yes, S sub 10 because we have um, 10 terms. Okay? So, next, the next one is to find n which is the number of terms. n is also 10. Then, the second one, we have a sub 1 which is 4 or the first term. To, to find the common difference, we simply subtract 8 minus 4 equals 4. So, again, the common difference is 4. Okay, now this is the solution. We're going to find the sum of the 10 terms. Okay, we have now uh, the formula, the arithmetic series formula. The first step is, again, you're going to find the value of S of N and S of 1 and the common difference. Then we go, we're going to substitute S of 10 equals N is 10. So we have 10 divided by 2. Then 2 times our A sub 1 is 4 plus N. N is 10. So we have 10 minus 1 times D which is 4. Then simplify. S sub 10 equals 10 divided by 2 is 5. Times 2 times 4 is 8. Plus 10 minus 1 is 9 times 4. 36. So we have now S sub 10 equals 5 times 8 plus 36. The next we have S sub 10 equals 5 times 8 plus 36 is 44. Therefore, we have S sub 10 equals 220. Okay, the sum of the 10 terms is 220. Okay, now this is for your home activity. You're going to find the sum of the following arithmetic sequence. Okay, we have 7. And we're going to remember that we have the what we call the odd numbers and even numbers. Odd numbers are 1, 3, 5. Even numbers, we have 2, 4, 6, and so on. Okay, this is my YouTube channel, Matt Ish, and please don't forget to share. Thank you.